Number 10. Jim McIlvain. The Sonics' 1990s near dynasty came to an end when Jim McIlvain agreed to a seven-year, $33.60 million contract with Seattle in 1996. Although the amount of the deal was far too high for a player who averaged fewer than 15 minutes of game time, it wasn't the main issue. McIlvain achieved a career best in points during his first season in Seattle, even though he only averaged 3.8 points per game. McIlvain stopped playing after the Sonics ended his contract after two years. Number 9. Bismack Biyombo. This contract appeared to be dead on delivery, unlike several others. In his final postseason series with the Raptors, Bismack Biyombo, a passable player for Toronto throughout his time there, put on a legendary performance against the Cleveland Cavaliers. It was this performance that perhaps convinced the Orlando Magic to offer him an absurd contract. To go to Florida, Biyombo received a four-year, roughly $70 million contract. It should come as no surprise that this transaction failed. He only participated in two seasons while wearing a Magic uniform, and much of that time was spent on the bench. Number 8. Timofey Mozgov. Timofey Mozgov had shown promise when he was in Cleveland and contributed moderately to the Cavaliers' NBA Finals victory in 2016. However, it was viewed as a huge risk when the Los Angeles Lakers offered him a huge salary after the victory. It wasn't a calculated gamble that paid off. Mozgov had difficulty adjusting to Los Angeles despite obtaining a sizable deal. He moved after playing in one season only. Number 7. Chandler Parsons. Chandler Parsons has established himself as a reliable scorer and option in Houston and Dallas. But when he received a sizable deal from the Memphis Grizzlies in 2016 for more than $90 million, the whole league was astounded. Parsons' performance at Memphis rapidly deteriorated, in part because of injuries. The Atlanta Hawks acquired him in a 2019 trade after he was finally restricted to a bench position, where he struggled further. Number 6. John Wall. John Wall's current deal looked good on paper, but it backfired miserably. The Washington Wizards were adamant about keeping hold of one of the league's finest players and its greatest stars in 2017. So, they offered him a huge contract of about $200 million. This deal immediately fell through when he started having injury problems the season after signing the contract. He was then transported from Washington to Houston in 2020 due to injuries. Number 5. Bryant Reeves. After two seasons, the Vancouver Grizzlies gave their center point to Bryant Reeves, just after two seasons with a six-year, $65 million deal. He was their first choice, and it didn't end well. Reeves never put much effort into off-season training. He consumed a lot of cheeseburgers and complained that he couldn't work out in the summer since there were no other basketball players or gyms in his hometown. After the lockout, Reeves weighed about 315 pounds. His physique rapidly degenerated after that, which then led him to suffer a back ailment in 2001. He decided to end his career after fulfilling just three and a half years of that deal. Number 4. Joe Smith. Joe Smith, who was chosen first overall in the 1995 draft, should have been very sought after when he was a free agent in 1999 after the lockout. Instead, he decided to sign a one-year deal with Minnesota that was followed by a $2.10 million one-year deal the following campaign. Why? Smith and his agent secretly reached an under-the-table agreement for a seven-year, $86 million contract, which they signed as one-year contracts to get around the salary cap and secure bird rights with the Timberwolves. When the agent for Smith left his prior company, the illegal deal got out, leaving Smith with a six-year, $34 million contract. Number 3. Joachim Noah. In the summer of 2016, when many of the most heinous contracts on our list were signed, the Knicks' decision to sign a washed-up Joachim Noah to a four-year, $72 million contract is simply impossible to defend. The Knicks were not taken aback when Noah played only 40 total minutes in the second year of his contract because his body was so worn out that he was only able to play in 29 games the year before. That comes to $450,000 every minute. When the Knicks released Noah last fall, he received the full value of his contract despite later acknowledging that his propensity for drinking contributed to his difficulties in New York. Number 2. Gilbert Arenas. Gilbert Arenas was still one of the faces of the Washington Wizards in 2008, despite being on the decline. He was still a highly sought-after player in spite of this, and the team was determined to do everything they could to keep him. As a result, they offered him a six-year, over a $100 million agreement. After agreeing to this contract, Arenas ended up hardly playing for the Wizards. 
Before being let go, he had only appeared in 55 games over three seasons. Number 1. Sean Kemp. In a three-way trade, the Sonics received Vin Baker in exchange for trading Sean Kemp to Cleveland. Kemp swiftly agreed to a seven-year, $107 million contract with the Cavaliers, and during his rookie campaign, he helped the team reach the playoffs and was named to the All-Star team. But in the 1998-1999 season, cut short by the lockout, Kemp showed up at training camp weighing an enormous 315 pounds. He managed to score a career-high 20.5 points per game, but the athletic Rain Man was permanently lost. In 2000, Kemp was transferred from Cleveland to Portland, where he entered a cocaine rehab facility before the season was over. So we've come to the end of our top 10 list of NBA players with horrible contracts. Do give this video a like. You can also subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos like this one. Thank you for taking the time to watch.